Hi guys, Daz here from Review, and um, I've got a great, another must-have app actually for uh, Android Wear. Uh, this one is all about battery uh, monitoring, uh, and the app's called Wear Battery Stats, and I'm going to get to it using the launcher that I showed you in my last video, which is here. And if we just scroll down, um, we've got Wear Battery Stats. It's actually made by the same guy as Wear Mini Launcher. It's really cool. Um, it's free, but you can pay to get uh, some extra features open. So let me just relaunch that a second. And you'll see that what you're actually greeted with to begin with is a cool graph. Um, let me just turn down the brightness on here, just to make it so it's a little bit more legible for you. And I'm going to go down to Wear Battery Stats. And so you'll see that we've got a graph of all the battery depletion since since 100%. Now actually right now mine's fairly steady, which is what you'd hope to see, um, as it goes on and off basically while I've been driving along uh, for the last few hours. If I click that again, what you actually see is a prediction of, of, of when your battery is likely to be fully depleted based on current usage. And this is predicting currently 21 hours, um, and so at 9.30 tomorrow, which is obviously perfect. I took this off the charge this morning when I woke up, and so that's exactly what you'd want to see from a smartwatch. That's daily charging, and to get you through quite happily uh, to bedtime. So that's the two modes we've got there. We can't go back in time to see all those kind of trends from on and off, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it's still very, very useful, and it gives me the ability to make some predictions there. It comes with a corresponding app, Wear Battery Stats. Um, which has the same uh, graph here as you'll see and I can flick between the two it just gives you a little bit of extra information it Tells you how much is depleting uh, per hour how much uptime in general you, uh, in total your phone's actually had as well Very usefully underneath uh, we have a screen state so it shows you where it's been off where it's been on um, and, and when when the actual watch has been active probably based on notifications coming through and There's a, a legend here that will just show you what that all means um, Now where this app has some cool additional functionality is within settings um, so we can actually set some active notifications. So as your as your watch battery uh, depletes, you can actually get to let you know, um, which is great because obviously you don't want to be caught with a, a dead watch, and that can be set fairly high or fairly low. It's going to be we're going to use vibration for this, um, and the threshold type can go between time or percentage. Now you only unlock time uh, when you give this guy. Uh, well, I think it's about 70p is the minimum, but you can buy him a coffee or a pint, etc. But even even. Either way, as long as you open it up, as long as you pay for that sort of pro privilege, you get time. Um, and so percentage is grayed out there, but you can see time. I've got it set for an hour now, but I can have it at three hours, which would be you know plenty of notice to get to find a charger. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I'd like maybe some options. Um, oh, I forgot to say, there's an app activity there. So if there's lots of apps, run, apps running and closing um, on the... Uh, watch itself and these will come here but I don't really ever see anything down there for some reason I'm not really sure why um, and again settings up there now what I'd like to be able to do is go back in time um, to be able to see previous graphs that'd be great uh, and I also think that the green looks a bit awful on this and it just doesn't fit in with the general sort of Android um, design concepts I, I just don't like the color and I also don't really like the fact that on Android Wear here um, we've just got the option of a very white uh, display where actually for battery, consider it's a battery app, this should really be in black with just the white illumination. It's a great app though, um, it's a must have, you need to get it on day one with your device, it should have come with it as standard but it didn't so go and download it, first thing you do after a uh, mini launcher, it's from the same guy, um, this guy needs some serious cred and let's hope it carries on creating apps for Android Wear. Thanks very much, hope you join me on my next video, it's probably going to be more Android Wear. Cheers.